good breakfast today, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, very good. It's about 10 o'clock and we're just about set to leave Dalcamera. Good for you they've got, isn't it? Right, are we ready to set off again for another day on the trail? Here we are back at the canal locks that we left yesterday. Just about to rejoin the Great Glen Way. First bit today is along the road. And up a hill as well, we're not used to hills after yesterday. Look at this landscape around here. What a beautiful day it is again. To be out and about for our walk. Loch Lochy, the pepper pot lighthouse. Early stop to remove layers. It's a warm one again, isn't it, today? We still have a good view of Ben Nevis from here. This is the sharp side. These are the cliffs that everyone else falls off yeah. when they're up there. You have to watch out for that. It's totally different on that side, isn't it? Yeah. The other side, it's like a whale's back. Mm. And this side, it's jaggy cliffs. Wrecked boat over there. Found a little wishing well or something like that in the woods. Oh, this is something else. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's huge in here. Look at the round the forest here. It's everywhere you look. Oh, there are. There must be hundreds of these little fairy animals everywhere. Yeah. What do you think of this then? That's the best thing I've seen. <laughs> Ever? Yeah. I can't believe it, really can't. It's just in the middle yeah. of the forest. flowers lining a route here on both sides of this track. This is the most bizarre place I can ever recall seeing just out of nowhere. <laughs> it's just in the middle of the forest, it's miles away from anywhere here.
the Smurf tree. Snails on a seesaw, pearls in a pond. Loads of animals hung up in this tree as well. I mean, what is this all about? It's everywhere you look. Swamp section complete with hippo. Fairy forest. Never seen anything like it before. Is that fishing boat I saw earlier out there? That's good, this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Oh, this is one of the most beautiful days walks I've ever done, I think. Just heading for Bunner Cake. Back on the road again for a short while. B something or other. Haven't seen a car yet. We've got the entrance to the Clan Cameron Museum there on the left. Not going there today. I think this is Bunner Cake, this bit. Certainly somewhere around here it is. Got the new house built up here. What sort of view do they have then? It's people who just had this house built. Oh yeah, quite pleasant. What are you looking at up there? It's a big bird, so close. What it is, it could be it an eagle. The River Archaic. We can still see Ben Nevis. A heron in the tree. Just coming into the hamlet of Clunes.
So we've left the road at Clunes and we're on this track now for the rest of today all the way to Lagan which is about seven miles away. Oh, it's a hot one today, isn't it? Again. Well, actually, it's hotter than yesterday, isn't it? Because you haven't got the breeze. Yeah. Got the sun coming in. Oh, it's a hot one. You're all right there. Bit hot. Wouldn't mind a break. Yeah, we need to look for somewhere we can stop out of the sun, though. Trying to get somewhere with a bit of shade. It's not very easy today. a bit here. Wow. That tree looks a bit precariously balanced on that big rock there. It's a huge tree as well. Oh, look at that. That is proper mountain up there, isn't it? Through the trees. How high up do you reckon that is? Oh, well, isn't it? Houses on the far side of the loch. This is a good one. Starts way up the fell side and you can see it coming all the way down through the trees. Rocky course. There are just too many of them, aren't there, really? Too many to really take in. Well, it's just every few yards, isn't it? You see a spectacular one like that. Not bad. Come out of the trees and we're now high up above the loch. some scenery around here isn't there I think I've enjoyed this day's walking as much as I have any in a long time you know So many bits, aren't there, that are really useful. So we're just having a nice little sit down there on our plastic sheets on the grass, desperately needed in my case. And then we noticed some of those little ticks on us. I noticed a few on my hands. They were all over my sheet. Ridiculous. I've had to bin that. I've had that throughout the Pennine Way and this. What can you do out here? We're just in the middle of the wilderness, so I had to screw it up into a little ball and bury it, which I wouldn't normally 
approve of, but I mean there are thousands of little ticks all over it. Well, you can't be walking for miles. Even just picking it up, I had no. about three or four on my hands. Yeah. I had them all over my jacket. We were only sitting there a few yeah. minutes. You must have sat in the nest or something. Yeah. They were all over my plastic. I couldn't believe it when I saw yeah. it. There must have been, well, if not hundreds, close to a hundred just on there. So we're trying to check our bags now. Let's check all our gear. This is my camera belt. I think that's all right. I had loads on this grey jacket. Yeah. It's hard to see on the dark t-shirt. I don't think I've got any more on my trousers, but there are a few. Oh, that wasn't great, was it? It really no. put me off now, <laughs> sitting down again. Oh, I could have done with the sitting down mm. as well. Even the shaking wasn't getting rid of them, that's the thing. Yeah. They seem to be able to hold on pretty well to that. Darn it. Well, I think we've got a few miles left to get to this lagging hostel. I think if we can steal ourselves and just get there in one go now. Yeah. Maybe we can have a rest here for a few minutes without being attacked by ticks. A reasonable view again, isn't it, really, I suppose? I have to call that decent. We're just nearing the northeast end of the lock here. It's gone quite cold, hasn't it, recently? Yeah, but the breeze there. That sheep's all the way at the top of that hill. We finally made it to the locks of Loch Lochy. Lagging locks. We've arrived at the Great Glen Hostel. It's not what I'd call the greatest room that we've ever had while we've been away, but compared with Inversnay, the other hostel that we've stayed at, got the uh, bunk beds there, got a little table here. Wow, look at that. It's even got a light on it. We've got that one on because the top light is pretty horrible, really, isn't it? Yeah. There's not much else to this place. That's more or less it. So we've hired a towel each for the princely sum of 50p per towel. And we've been to the little shop. What did we get? Pack of digestives, packet of shortbread, and some kettle chips. <laughs> Because we're not even sure whether we can get shops because yeah. it's Easter weekend. So, so. We, Fort Augusta should have something, but whether it'll be open, we don't yeah. know. Hopefully that'll see us through the next couple of days. Yeah.